What is going on guys? So I am back today to do one of my favorite types of videos on the channel and that is talking about a Shutter original film. I've been getting caught up on a lot of films from 2022, spending a lot of time with some new releases and so I'm excited to get back to watch some newer released films on Shutter. And today's film is one that I had no idea what to expect when I watched it. Similar to a lot of films I watch on Shutter, I just click normally and watch because they put so much great material out. And this is a film called A Wounded Fawn. A Wounded Fawn is directed by Travis Stevens. A local museum curator who is dipping her toe back into the dating pool is targeted by a charming serial killer. When a fateful romantic getaway between the two becomes a tense game of cat and mouse, both must confront the mad within him. So that on the surface sounds incredibly familiar, like something that we've seen before. But what I can stress 100% to you as the viewer out there is that is nothing like what this movie actually is. And I say that in the best way possible. This film is a surrealist abstract nightmare shot on beautiful 16 millimeter the film looks amazing it's not that artificial grainy overlay that they add in like adobe premiere this is like real deal shot on film it looks amazing the performances are really great especially josh rubin who is also a director directed the film werewolves within and a couple other projects that i've really enjoyed and he's also a really talented actor and he gives a fantastic performance in this film so at the beginning of the film you actually see him kill this this woman who's at this art auction where they're auctioning off this sculpture piece that he's bidding on and it jumps forward to this woman who works at an art museum and she's talking with her friends about starting dating again that she was in this really toxic relationship and that she just wants to try again but she's kind of hesitant as soon as that happens she gets out of her house to get in a car to go on this romantic getaway with this person and it's Bruce the guy from the beginning of the film who we saw murder this woman after he sees this giant strange creature in this red glowing doorway which was just absolutely amazing and so they're in the car together going out to this cabin and the two of them have this conversation you can kind of see that like some of his tendencies coming off while he's in the car that make him feel really uncomfortable and unnatural and it's executed really well all of his like tells that he's not normal are really nuanced and well done and they get there and things just sort of blow out of control and it becomes this look into Bruce's character through this really surrealist nightmarish way which I thought was executed really well. This film also looks at like the mistreatment of women and how women always have to be on guard especially from like really terrifying men that are incredibly abusive and obviously this is taken to the extreme by looking at it through the lens of a serial killer but I also think the commentary is done in a really nuanced way through all the real surrealist visuals. I love like the costume designs in this, the all of the designs of like Clearly, they're representations of women that he's killed, but I think that they do a really good job of giving them all very unique and strange looks. Uh, the woman who he kills at the beginning of the film pops up multiple times with these other women that have been murdered, and the way that she moves and that her body moves is just so well done. It's really just a unique piece of film that I have not seen anything like it in quite some time, and I was appreciative of that, and I think it has a really powerful third act punch because you're really getting into the mind of this incredibly deranged person and I always love when movies look at this idea of like a serial killer or a deranged psychopath through a very unique lens. I think of a film like Lars von Trier's The House That Jack Built that really pays attention to the psyche of these characters in a way that is really interesting and and looking at it through a lens that I think people can understand through the visual cues and that's what I really liked about this movie is like getting into the mind of this sick disgusting human being and like I said Josh Rubin's performance is phenomenal because he spends a lot of time in this movie on camera by himself and so a lot of it is through his facial expressions and his bodily movements and so much of the film relies on his performance to work and he really delivers in this and I love the atmosphere of this like cabin in the middle of nowhere which I know is a trope that has existed in horror movies for forever but it works so perfectly for this setting I think there's sort of this like ambiguity with the time period almost but there is cell phones in it but maybe just because 
because of the real graininess of the film and the way that it's shot. It feels like it could take place in any time, which I love movies that kind of strip away the technological aspect and leave you in whatever time period that you're in. Obviously, like, the house is very modern, but I love films that are sort of stripped away of that because there's a lot of movies I love that feel dated because of the technology in the films, and that does not exist in this movie either. But I just had a lot of fun with this, and I did not know where it was going to go. The third act blew me away. It's just a really phenomenal experience and probably one of the best films I've watched on Shudder all year long. So if you get a chance to check this one out, definitely do if you're into like surrealist nightmare pieces, you'll really love this movie. So have you seen A Wounded Fawn? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you thought. I thought this movie was brilliant. It's so well executed, well shot, incredibly well acted. Just an amazing experience that I think you'll enjoy if you check out. As always, if you can like the video and subscribe to the channel, it helps me out a lot and lets me know the type of content you're looking for. I'm always putting out new material and look forward to getting more out for you in the near future. And as always, everyone, thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day.